Hi, I've been having some technical issues with my video, so I've actually started this about three times. Um, here is a game that I've been working on, and uh, I want to see if you like it. Um, let me know. I, I don't know whether or not I will keep on pushing it, but the idea is that I'd like to make a big grand strategy game, and this will be one of the components of it. So uh, you start off, 3D space, you saw the map was being created. I think there's some compression on the sides, so I'll actually have to work on that at some point. Um, but the idea is that you've got uh, two different teams, three different types of units, and um, I'm currently gonna, I'm lo working on a way to make the uh, ships look different than they are now, but I wanted something to visualize them for the moment. So this is a work in progress situation. And uh, yeah, there's no sound, there's just the interactions and the dynamics of the AI. And there are a few issues that I've noticed my last couple of times of uh, playing this. My son, five, thinks this is wonderful. Um, but you know, what does he know? Um, but if he's the kind of guy that likes it, then he's the kind of guy that likes it, which I actually like looking at it too. So um, A, S, W, and D, Z and C to Z to go down, C to go up. And here we go. Um, yeah, and if I get too close, the reds will start shooting at me. So I don't want to distract from the battle itself. Yeah, for some reason, my visual quality reduces quite significantly when I go on to um, uh, the other screen. And I have no idea why. I'll have to look at it later. But yeah, uh, the health of the blue ships is extremely overpowered right now and uh, the speed of the uh, uh, spheres and cones is not uh, fast enough at, at even their firing rate. Um, but I wanted to have this kind of like um, uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes effect. And um, yeah, I think this actually works out quite well. You can see them pushing each other back and forth at times when one is winning and one is losing. You can destroy your own ships. They're not gonna turn on me or kill me. It does take a bit of effort to kill your own ships, but it can be done. Um, same with the opponents. You see that jittering that's up there on the top corner? I don't really like that. Um, and that's something I'm gonna work on as well. But um, because he's annoyed me, I'm just gonna kill him. Yeah. So I guess while that's working, and now that I have a better visual quality than I expected to have, I might set up the other uh, program and just see how that's working for you, uh, working for me. So uh, if I just go in here, because I don't think that you guys have seen it uh, in better quality, and I was trying to figure out what was happening the other day and thought it was just purely my... Um, uh, purely thought it was my OBS settings when it actually looks like it's my monitor connected to my OBS settings. So I think I can open up this one and that will work. Um, yeah. I put in how I should start this in the file and I I think this is it, yep. Sorry, I have to write notes for myself everywhere. I do too many projects at the same time. But we will get this up and running. Uh, oh yeah, so my guy's asked, and I can die. I uh, just have to get hit enough times. Um, but this one doesn't need to be running anymore. I have it running on the same port, um, but this one over here that you cannot see, I will open up now and um, start it up. I'll press Control F5. You will see my other version pop up here, and hopefully this will be loading nicely. Yeah, so this is the Galaxy. Um, can you see that? Uh, it looks like you can. It looks a bit nicer. I had messed around with the colors thinking again it was something else. Uh, currently it is up, down, left and right. The uh, galaxy size is actually on the small scale at the moment. Um, this is 5,000 stars or 4,797 connected on a, um, a big um, Veronian style map. Uh, you can 
mainly see the stars that are within your view. And I didn't like the way I'm capturing stars by doing this kind of thing. And yeah, like as in it works and it looks nice-ish. Um, again, a few things have to change. But what I would like to do is like click on that, start off, capture the star, and then, well, you go to capture the star and then you pop back into the other game's view. At least that would be my goal. So it takes a few seconds to capture the first star. I think I should have actually aimed for this one first because I could have captured that straight away. The rate of growth for um, player stars is faster than AI stars. It does actually work. I just went to the wrong place. Like, like this maybe I will just restart it I do like the intro when it like this this is really cool I like that so um, yeah so I don't I, I do like this style of game and it's quite relaxing uh, to me but I think that having a battle scene because um, I was planning on making it a multiplayer game but I've had to adjust that line of thinking just based on the complexities already. So I might make a version two after I make a version one. And um, yeah, that'll be it then afterwards. So now I can get enough units together and they all can capture it. I'm just gonna quit the video after I capture this guy. So you guys can leave now if you'd like. But um, yeah, next video will be about flux. Um, which will be I'll be using to create some of the 3D assets as alongside another program which I'll show you also and yeah, yeah I've captured it okay here's my OCD ACD ADD I don't know anyway have a good night and talk to you again soon